words rebuke the devourer that holds you back you want to be held back nobody wants to be held back we're gonna give you the opportunity to give here so we're good ground we have more more and more subscribers every week coming in it's great turn with me to Malachi chapter 3 Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 will a man rob God yet you've robbed me but you say wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings tithes and offerings both giving you are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me even this whole nation verse 10 bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now herewith says the Lord of hosts if I will not open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it are you here now the next part verse 11 say verse 11, 11. so a lot of people miss verse 11 listen part of what the tithes and offerings do is rebuke the devourer verse 11 and I will rebuke the devourer when does this happen after you've given after you've tithed tithing is a form of giving just means 10% literally what it means right but giving you don't have to stop at 10% I tell you when I'm in a when I'm in a pickle say a pickle. a pickle brother you look like you're in a pickle if you're in a pickle you don't want to just stop at 10% I'm telling you why because we've got the devourer that we need to have rebuked mm -hmm. say the devourer, the devourer. Rebuked. rebuked part of what tithing and offerings do is rebuke the devourer is this in your Bible See, he said tithes and offerings and he says and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes now God is not holding back from you is he holding back from you yeah he's holding back no he's not God is not the one holding back you know who is holding back the devourer the devil and the world you think the world holds back from you at every given opportunity the world holds back from you are you here mm -hmm. do you see what's going on God's trying to bless you but there's a devourer holding you back you mm -hmm. holding back the blessing holding back the prosperity are you here and their object is to keep you in the rat race keep you running around in a circle see one of those little those little what are those, hamster wheels just keep you going around I'm going I'm moving I'm moving. notice you aren't making any ground why is because you're in the rat race and you're being held back what is this that's the devourer that's the world system trying to devour all your stuff you bring in something where's it go I'm not, I'm not. somebody devoured it mm -hmm. part of what giving the tithes and offerings do is rebuke the devourer that holds you back you want to be held back no. nobody wants to be held back Isaiah 54 17 you can look it up later if you want no weapon formed against you shall prosper say no weapon, no weapon formed against me, against me. shall prosper. prosper now shall prosper means that's not gonna prosper what shall prosper you shall prosper if the weapons not prospering that's formed against you guess what prospers part of what offerings do giving does is rebuke the devourer go to Matthew chapter 6 can the devourer eat an awful lot he's called the devourer mm -hmm. right what if you know you went to your high school reunion and there was this guy called the devourer and he was 400 pounds maybe he lost a lot of weight since high school years but either even so you knew him as the devourer and if you invited him to parties forget about it he'd eat everything the Bible calls him the devourer do you want to restrain the devourer yes. then there's a way to do it God already told us but we're gonna read some more Matthew chapter 6 oh let's look at verse 10 we all know this right thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven how's it supposed to be done in earth as in heaven you got is the devourer in heaven no, no he didn't get in which means you got plenty Thy will be done in earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil say deliver us, deliver us. 
from evil. from evil now is the devourer evil according to the word God puts him in that category devouring what you have is evil it's yours mm -hmm. he doesn't want the devourer taking it all away are you here mm -hmm. but deliver us from so he's saying deliver us from evil are you here do you think he has a way to do it mm -hmm. deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power so in the kingdom and the power is deliverance from the devourer in the kingdom and the power you have deliverance from the devourer well how's the kingdom work how's the power of God work in the kingdom the kingdom is as is if a man sowed a seed are you here there's power in the seed listen there's power in the seed sown even today that will rebuke the devourer and cause a way for you to go forward where you couldn't before because something was in the way how does that happen the kingdom works by sowing and reaping seed say sowing, sowing. And, reaping and reaping seed, seed. giving breaks that hold giving breaks the things holding you back say giving, giving. Breaks, breaks the thing, the thing. Holding, me holding me back right. it's God's method it's God's way are you seeing this yes. giving starts the rec the receiving cycle remember Jesus said what he say it's more blessed to receive than to have to give is that what he said no. definitely more blessed to receive than to have to give don't make me give is that what he said no that's the modern translation it's more blessed to give more blessed do you want to be more blessed yes. more blessed is you're blessed but you know you need more mm -hmm. right the devourers eating up as far as you got blessed you need more say I need more, I need more. well the way to get more according to this is to give more it's more blessed to give than receive I'm not making this up I'm not the one just saying this I realize I am saying it but this is how it works this is how the kingdom works if you need more then you need to sow more seed people know this in the natural more blessed so if you want to be more blessed I'm just preaching the gospel here I'm just telling you the word if you want to be more blessed you have to learn this lesson that the blessing of receiving comes through giving the seed the receiving st cycle starts with the giving it doesn't start with the receiving that's the end of the cycle okay. then what you should do is give some of that are you here mm -hmm. it's a cycle and you can make it go as big as you want I'm excited about it yeah. all right so hold hold up your seed your tithe or your offering glory be to God say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I bring tithe and offering with my seed I call the devourer rebuked and I say increase comes to me all things work together for good for me now and I claim a hundredfold on my seed sown in Jesus name Amen Your God in